What's up, guys? This is Revenge of the Jocks. I'm your host, Marty. You guys want a second episode with Siggy Bennett, my wife? So here we are. How does one deal with mommy guilt? You're getting ready to go to Africa, and every single day you keep bugging the shit out of me. <laughs> talking about, who's going to eat? Who's going to do this? Who's going to do this? And because what, how are you going to do that? Because I have good reason to have concern. I've never, I've never left y'all for more than three days. I have real anxiety about it. I feel like it has more to do with you and your place in the household than it has to do with us surviving. Absolutely. I mean, you're grown. <laughs> if y'all can't, if you can't hold down the fort for a week, then something seriously wrong. So, where does wrong. your anxiety? What is your fear? My is anxiety fear comes from not being present to fulfill one of my roles or multiple roles that I have. I know y'all are gonna eat, but it's not gonna be a home cooked meal. It's not, I could you cook. know, Martellus. I think all moms are like. Oh, you know, I need I need a couple of days. I need a staycation. I'll go on a girls trip or something. And by by the end of the first night, we're like calling you guys constantly, checking in. We miss you guys. Like it's I think it's, it's like always a, that. It's like think, you think you want the time away, but then you get it and you don't even know what the fuck to do with yourself. You would pay someone to do all the things that moms do, all the things that wives do. You would. Oh, uh, pay for would. sex is you know it's kind of weird. <laughs> 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 but you know what i mean you pay nannies you pay schools to t- to watch your kids all day to teach them things you pay people to uh chefs to to cook your meals you pay people maids you pay people to do all kinds of things so to me it's like very um denigrating when people kind of look down on moms and they're like oh you don't do shit it's like actually we do a lot of things and it never stops we're 24 7 on call that's why i tell you about business if you could manage your household yeah you could run a company i don't think you and i ever expected me to be a stay-at-home mom that's a conversation that i have with a lot of my fellow stay-at-home moms especially of athletes i feel like they say that they want us to be out there and, and live our dreams and all this stuff but when we actually do it it's hard for them to adjust as well i do think a lot of stay-at-home moms or women who uh, feel like they have careers inside of them that they want to pursue have a hard time um, going out and going after it full force because we do feel that guilt of leaving the home. Men actually have guilt about leaving the home too. Like I think no, so too, but y'all don't like, get the y'all don't get the like that's expected of you. Yeah, and I, not I to say like I know you miss Jet when you travel all the time. You know I know I know that ex- you'd rather I'm be saying, home. on the male side. Just because they expect it doesn't mean that it's easy. I know if I come home one day from grinding all day, or if I don't go grind and the lights go off, and it's just kind of like, right. well, damn. People hardly ever ask you, when are y'all gonna have another kid? But I have strangers asking me that all the time. People just expect. Like, oh, you're home. You not you don't do nothing. Why don't you have more kids? Let's or just, people just expect everyone to want to have multiple kids. That's not our thing. Let's but, just clear it in the air right now. Okay, we're, we're not having kids. no more kids. Yeah, yes. we're not having no other kids. Y'all don't. So, y'all can stop asking. Yeah, don't. <laughs> y'all ask can stop question. telling me that you're ready for Jet to have a sibling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit, y'all happening. ain't gonna pay no sibling bills. Do have you ever felt like being half black and half white? Have you ever felt <laughs> like the motherland? Like, like I need that, to go to the motherland. Like, have you ever felt like you want to know that half of yourself? Like you have no. you ever felt like connected to Africa in that way? I've never felt connected in that way but i've also never wanted to go to like ireland where my mom's you know that's where her people that are from, from? Ir- irish and french that's what uh 23 me ancestry.com came up with i'm nigerian and i could see um, that in your cheekbones <laughs> nigerian my mom's french her kin is like irish and french i just want one photo i need you to climb to the top of a cliff and have a baby lion I, I, and hold I can't it over do the that, edge of the Martellus. cliff. <laughs> I can't. And in slow motion play, the circle of life. I can't promise you that. I Why don't not? think that's. I would do it if I was we there. are going to the top of I would do it if I was mountain. there for you. You would. <laughs> I would never ask you to do that. That's I would not just something do it. I would want from you. I would just you. do it. Like, look at this. You like the Lion King. Here's Simba. People share a lot of stuff in their relationship on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Personally, I don't think inviting the world into your relationship, especially when the foundation is not really built on, like, super strong A lot of people concrete. don't have a strong foundation. I mean, yeah. Some yeah. people build a foundation on straw and what the wolves do. The big bad wolves <laughs> of social media come around. What they do, they huff. And they puff and they blow yeah. their house down. The haters are out there. How much is too much to share? I've never understood putting your business, 
your private business and your relationship out there for mm. other people to sit back and What's pop impri- popcorn and, yeah. and ha- be entertained. I mean, that's I think between you and your person. I think some people get confused because they look at social media like people there, they're friends, so they feel like they're just talking to friends. What are some advice you would give young couples that are just starting out, like doing things? I think it's important to know who you are. A lot of people don't know who they are when they're young, but I think it's important to not um, compromise yourself for trying to please someone else or try to be what someone else wants you to be. I, I think that is important, but I think that when you're a kid, like when it's you guys hard, are... It's hard, yes. A lot of people aren't that self-assured I when think they're in, I think young, young relationships, the key is to learn how to grow individually and also grow together. together. Mm-hmm. So how do you grow as individuals so that yes. you don't lose yourself yes. and you experience enough life together that you guys are able to grow, grow through things? Right. Women in particular um, want men to view them a certain way or think that they're wifey material or, you know, like they'll back down from some of their viewpoints or the way that they do things because they're trying to please someone. Be who you are. I tell my boys all the time, there's a bunch of women out there that are rich nigga wife training. Mm-hmm. They're just training to be a rich nigga's wife. Like how you go to the gym. They do just <laughs> enough to, to, to get... Wiped to up. get in the door, and then you see the true colors. Yeah, it's like yeah. people keep the outside of the car so clean, right. but then the inside is dirty. It's funny because I feel like a lot of people do come to us in particular for relationship advice, and I, I don't think I did anything on purpose. I was just being who I was. There was no intent behind your There was your no actions. intent. There was no like, well, if I do this then he's going to come back to me or he's going to act right or he's going to do this. Like there was never that. It was just, I know who I am and I know what I do and don't want. Cause I, I remember saying something about like me not cooking for you till the day we got married. And then I got a bunch of questions about like, was that intentional? Were you not doing wife shit where well, you weren't I, living together? You weren't doing this. And that's definitely like, we weren't living. We did not live together yeah, until I, I got to cook, engaged. Though. We didn't need, you didn't need me to cook, but it definitely was like, I think if you'd have asked, I probably wouldn't have done it. Now that I'm older, I see, I see the truth in the, um, why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? I see that with a lot of my friends. Uh, I see that with a lot of my friends. I see them giving everything. And then it's just kind of like. But you ain't going to buy the cow unless you know how the milk tastes. But sis, you ain't got to be doing the laundry, doing this, uh, nah, being with the laundry. family, moving nah, in the I... home, decorating the home, doing all this shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like what, So what's left when you're married? Yeah, that's over the top. There's a lot of people that are okay with, you know, putting the cart before the horse. And that's fine if that works for you. For me. That wasn't something that I was going to compromise on. I mean, but when you're in a relationship for... A lot of people for, take that shit for granted. I mean, it depends. If it's two months into a relationship, well, damn, that's right. just a bit much. Exactly. When you guys yeah. have been together for several years, that's different. But if you've been together for several years and marriage is something you want... Marriage for women has a date and a time stamp on we it. We have an expiration date that y'all don't have. Yeah, we but, need to have children by a certain age, nah, sir. I'm saying... <laughs> we have I'm not, a biological I'm not talking about clock, the children though. part. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about marriage, period. After a certain age, guys be like, well, shit, I'm just gonna be a player for the rest of my life. As a woman, it's either if you're a stay-at-home mom, you don't do shit, and you should be out working and contributing to the household. If you work, it's you don't spend enough time with your family. You're neglecting your family. It's very, it's a but very hard. That? Everyone. I don't know because I never say anything. You're not like a this. woman. The way that I am with Jet is absolutely a result of what I perceived as a lack of having a mother. What? So my mom background for people that don't know, my mom and I are very close now, but we've been close since my dad passed away when I was 18. Her, um lack of being present physically and what I felt emotionally in my life as a girl growing up absolutely informs the the way that I am afraid to leave my house. And I feel like Jet, like I don't ever want Jet to have a moment in life when she feels like I wasn't there. Yeah. It's, it's uh, you know, something I something I didn't deal with until now being a mom. And I'm like, damn, why do I have so much anxiety this- about leaving my family or going to going back to things that I love, going to work? Because yeah. I feel like Jet needs every part of me because I didn't get that from my mother. Yeah. Like, I never had a relationship with my birth mother. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, through growing up, like, I didn't, yeah. like, not at 18, not at whatever. 
but I've never felt like I missed anything, right? Because you I had, had a mom, your mom, right? Yeah. Right, Penny's my mom, right. so I've never felt like I needed that motherly relationship with a right. woman because my mom did a great job. Do you think you had mommy issues? When we first got together, because I felt like some of the things we went through as a young couple was a result of you not having your birth mother around. Nah, I think I uh, felt like you couldn't trust me. You felt you pushed me. I thought you that's what I'm saying. I I felt you pushed me away because you couldn't trust women because you felt like the one person that was supposed to take care of you didn't. Nah, because I, I had a replacement. I was a psych major at the time, yeah. though, so that's literally where my mind went. Yeah, yeah, I don't that's know. Where, you got that's that. how I explained I, away some of your behaviors in the beginning. Of, like you, you pushing that logic, me away because that probably helped us stay that together. That probably helped us stay together. You were like, nah, I just nah, didn't. I, nah, I, didn't <laughs> nah, I was that. just being a fuck boy. Keeping me at bay was um, a well, result I, of not not having. Oh no, that's because their original woman. <laughs> nah, that was a result of me really liking you. And what do you mean? Yeah, I had to hide you. I can't have you around all the time if I really care about you. <laughs> so I couldn't see all the shit you was really yeah, doing? No, I cared about you. I don't want you to know what all this shit's going on. Like, I care about how you feel. The one of the girls that could come around while all this was happening, I didn't really care about their emotional state. But you, I cared. Like, oh, no. Nah, Interesting. Like, like, I cared. That's why. I mean, even if she's not it, most guys would be married a year later. And a lot of women have a lot of issues because of that. Yeah. Because they feel like I upgraded him or I put in the time or whatever it may be like I put in the hard work and then we broke up and then six months later he's married I'm just saying another know, bitch man. got my hard work you know like that's a lot of women do feel that way I, I, I don't blame yeah. them I'm just letting you know the women that's know so that, interesting like, though like why like, do you so you think that guys just literally as flip a switch flips and they think like this ain't the girl for well, me well the issue that people have is that they don't realize that change happens at one single moment of time when change happens, it happens. Like, it's not going to be like you're not changing a little bit every single day. You just change. You don't think so? No. Nah. No, nah, what sometimes the I moment. I feel like I'm changing a little bit more every single day. Well, sometimes the moment of. Into a, into a better version of me. So it's that light bulb moment. Yes. You have a light bulb moment. Yes. That's when change happens. Okay. I would agree with that. Well, the change is the mindset. Because yes, you can, yes. just as quick as you change. You, you could, could change, change back. back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now after you change, like, bam, this is what I want. This is what I'm going after. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. All the behaviors of fat that happen after that is because of the change. All these years later, you're actually making a living support, like making a good living. We're being corporately f- flown out places for you to be creative is like mind blowing because I always knew it was there, but to see it in action on that level, like we were at parties with like common and Miguel giving like private, private concerts in like a room of a, in a hundred people in a chateau (laughs) in the South of France. And then we're like going on a yacht to like St. Tropez just for lunch for the day. Like to see it happen on that level for you, all because you are fucking creative Hmm. was like, so mind blowing for me and such a proud moment for me um, as your wife and just as, as seeing the progression. And um, I know there's a lot of people that never thought that you could do that. There's a lot of people that never think that that's a thing. And that's why it's so important for you to show the youth what can be done because a lot of people don't even know that that's a thing. You can actually, you can get paid (laughs) to be creative. You can have this great lifestyle and just travel the world and like have all these amazing moments because you think outside the box. Like if you can do all this shit and you still are a great husband and we still have great um, connections with jet and like, we ain't got no nanny. We don't have no babysitter. Like, we could do all this shit. We could literally realize all of our g- wildest dreams. What is holding me back? 